Aging is really a complex phenotype. Uh, first of all, aging is a dynamic phenotype, so it changes over time. And so aging, aging processes can be depicted as uh, two, two basic trajectories from the early state of development to the um, limit of human lifespan and uh, trajectories of healthy and non-healthy aging. So the continuous interaction between individuals' genetic makeup and environmental factors results in a spectrum of states that range from healthy aging and unhealthy aging and development of the most common age-related diseases such as cardiovascular diseases, type 2 diabetes mellitus and neurodegenerative diseases and also cancers. And so understanding these interactions and uh, the extent to which they affect uh, the health preservation or disease development can contribute to devising uh, tools and uh, preventive therapeutic treatments. So the early identification of the development of age-related diseases can really contribute to um, postpone their detrimental effects and so to increase the chance to obtain an healthy aging. We are, uh, we are studying uh, microRNAs, especially circulating microRNA. They are in a class of um, new discovered molecules. They are short, single-stranded, uh, non-coding RNA. And uh, thanks to the easy detection in uh, body fluids, in serum, in plasma, and also thanks to the, um, the storage under different conditions, the stability under different storage conditions, and also thanks to the easy detectability with the sensitive and specific assay, for example, PCR-based assay, they um, emerge as uh, minimally invasive and robust biomarkers for aging and age-related diseases. So we are really interested in, in studying these uh, new uh, promising biomarkers of age-related diseases, microRNAs and especially circulating microRNAs. The most relevant criticism to translate microRNA analysis from the research to clinical department is the lack of standardization of the analysis. Um, biomarker discovery required to standardize and also data drive and this represents the only way to, to shift the knowledge, to translate this knowledge from bench to bedside.